Indians. His wound isn't serious, but you better get him to a doctor. Give him a hand, you two. I gotta stay on the horses. murder. Indian depredations reported on increase. Cattle stampeded, ranches raided, burned, horses driven off. Chief Irahua still at large. Reports continue to pour into the office of the Gazette, given eyewitness accounts of... You better get him over to Doc Waters right away. How'd he get hurt, Ed? The Indians jumped him, Sheriff, down around Stony Creek Bend. And they'd have had his scalps in their hogans by now if it hadn't been for the stranger yonder. What's going on here? Who's got hurt and how come? Navajo's got a U.S. Marshal from Santa Fe. Someplace down around Stony Creek. Well, where was you, Sheriff? Off on the other side of town, serving papers for the water company as usual? I don't like that kind of talk, Mr. Bowling. Now you just go on and run your newspaper. Mm -hmm. Any more of that kind of chatter and we'll shut up your paper for good. And another thing, if you like them Navajos so much, why don't you go and live with them? Well, who says this shooting was done by Navajos? The man that ran them off. I reckon even you can't excuse them this time, Sheriff. Well, dog my cats. My man, howdy. If ever I was glad to see anyone in my whole life put together, you're him. But how in You the must have me mixed up with somebody else, mister. Uh, you mean to tell me that you ain't... I don't think you've ever seen me before. Huh? My name's Rusty Stevens, if that means anything to you. Uh, what really happened back there, stranger? The driver don't seem to know too much about it. Yeah, and I'm holding up the presses for it. You run the local paper? Yeah, I do now. I used to be a barber, but I won the Tarnation paper in a poker game, and I've been in trouble ever since. Well, I'll tell you in your office, I'm not very much of a public speaker. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, this way. I said I'd tell Mr. What's-His-Name in his office. You people can read about it in the paper. Yeah, I'll be on the street in a couple of three hours. Talkative cuss, ain't he? Hey, how long's your name been Stevens? Oh, about two minutes. Uh, that's what I figured. Now, what the heck's this all about? Well, I don't rightly know myself, Amos. Who was this fellow that told you the wounded man was a marshal? Why do you ask about him? How did he know a marshal was on his way out here? The office didn't tell anybody. Sort of sounds, don't it? Well, it may sound to you, but it smells to me. Who is he? Well, he rides for the Rincon Land and Water Company. Says his name's Blackie Mullet. But if he ain't a Dalton, I'll eat my shirt and gargle the buttons. Why, I know there's one Dalton in town. He calls himself Missouri Gans. But heck, I used to barber him back in Coffeeville. And then there's a fellow they call Mac. He ain't here just now, but he's a Dalton, too. I ain't let on I recognized him, or... The Dalton gang? Don't make sense, Amos. Well, why not? They were on the Dodge. I figure they're here to handle the rough stuff for the land company. Well, let's begin at the beginning. Now, tell me about these Navajo raids, and tell me about this murder that Ira Hewitt is supposed to have committed. The chief never murdered anyone. Oh, uh... This here is Polly Mitford. It's her pa, Irohu, is supposed to have shot. And Polly, this is my friend, uh, 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 what the heck did you say your name was? Rusty Stevens. You must be good friends when you don't even know his name. Well, I can't help it if he keeps changing it all the time. He's a marshal in here to investigate this Navajo business. You've come to the right place to get the Indian side of it. 
Well, that's what I want. I can't understand why the Navajos would be on the prowl. They've got the best summer grazing Well, they did have for 20 years, but the Rincon Land and Water Company took it away from them and slammed the chief in jail for killing her dad. But some of his braves come in and busted him out the same night. The chief didn't kill dad. Why, he'd been his best friend for years. The Rincon Land and Water Company. Amos, I think we better go down and have a talk with that puncher I brought in. Yeah. And uh, let's not let anybody know that I'm the marshal. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Incidentally, my real name... Now, now, don't tell her. Then she won't have no trouble remembering to forget it. Oh. I don't like the sound of it, mister. I ain't used to riding outside the law. That makes a difference. What do you want me to play like I'm a marshal for? Because I want to do a little nosing around. I don't want everybody watching me. They already think you're the marshal. Just let them go on thinking so. I don't know. I owe you a heap for what you've done. And you I... don't owe me a thing. But you'd be doing me a great favor. Me and a lot of other folks, maybe. All right. It's a bet. What I have to do to act like a marshal? Why, nothing. Just act wise and keep your mouth shut. And no matter what happens or who asks, you're the marshal investigating this Navajo business. It sounds easy. Well, what's my name? Until I tell you different, it'll be... Dan. Howdy, J.J. Just dropped in to pay our respects to the marshal. Well, there wouldn't be any marshal if it wasn't for my friend here, Mr. Uh, uh, what the heck did you say your name was again, young fella? Rusty Stevens. Yeah, Gorman. Rinkin Land and Water Company. This is Marshal West, Mr. Gorman. Larry West, I think you said. Yes, yeah, sure. Howdy, Mr. Gorman. Guess you won't lose any time sending for troops after that little run-in you had this morning. Well, uh, I ain't rightly made up my mind. Well, yet. the marshal was just saying as how he'd like to nose around and find out the facts first. Facts? Wasn't it facts enough when them Navajos jumped him? Some people seem to think they weren't Navajos. And if it was, I wouldn't blame them the way the water company done them out of their range. Seems to me you talk a heap too much for a man your size, Bowley. You make an awful lot of noise yourself, mister. There have been men who have tried to stop me. Probably will be again, too. Anytime you feel like declaring yourself. All right, men, stop your argument. Remember, the law is present. Blackie. If I'd have had my way, we'd have run this little weasel out of town on a rail a couple of months ago. We better get out of here, Amos, before you get hurt. See you later, Marshal, Mr. Gorman. Hope you have better luck with the Marshal than we did, Mr. Uh, Gorman. He tells me he keeps mighty mum. Well, he's ready to act. You put those words right in my mouth, mister. Marshal, just what do you hope to find out? Well, now that's something I won't know till I get into it. Hey, will you listen to me, Larry? I know what I'm talking about. You crazy galoot! You got, you got a chance of getting there. You get keep there a while, but uh, you can't do a thing. I tell you, you ain't got a chance of reaching Chief Irahua's village, Larry. I mean, Rusty. Well, I can try, can't I? And get yourself shot doing it? You can't get within gunshot of the old man. Well, if I can't get within gunshot of the old man, how can he shoot me? Oh. You dad blame digit.
Chief. I come with sad tidings. It's only right to tell you I have a warrant for your arrest. For the killing of the land agent, John Medford. If my brother tries to arrest me, one of us will leave this village dead. You can guess which one. I said I had the warrant. I didn't say I intended serving it. Then why are you here? I want to ask you some questions about this range war. Speak. Why are your braves making war on the whites? They do not make war. They freed me from prison when I was arrested for killing the land agent. Did you kill the agent? No. John Medford was an honest man and my good friend for 20 years. Do you know who did? A white man. I do not know his name. His compañeros called him Mac. What else? The agent was ready to sign my lease. There was a shot and he fell dead. The men seized me and took me to the sheriff. They said I fired the shot. And you couldn't prove you didn't? If I had proof, I would not run away. Tell your men to relax, Chief. I don't intend serving this. I believe you. Clean up this Indian business if you walk out. I am, and I have to do it on my own. Why well, say there's such a thing as being too blame honest, and this is it. I'm sorry. I didn't serve the warrant, and I got to resign. Of course. It's the only honorable thing to do. Horseradish. It may be honorable, but it sure is idiotic. You mean it may be idiotic, but it sure is honorable. Don't pay any attention to him, Mr. Stevens. If you're speaking to me, Miss Medford, the name is Rusty. And if you're speaking to me, Mr. Stevens, the name is Pollock. You ought to get married, you two, so you could raise a whole flock of knuckleheads. Well, I never in all my born... Anyway, I don't think our kids would be knuckleheads. There's gratitude for you. I just get her so she can set a little type for me, and now she wants to get married. And to a fella without no job. Look what just rode in from Santa Fe. Hiya, J.J. Hello, Mac. Think it's safe to show up back here so soon? Yeah, I got my alibi all fixed up for that Medford job. I was in Santa Fe at the time. By the way, you got my note about the marshal in time to do any good? Yeah, thanks. You should have seen him when the stage brought him in. Dead? No, yeah, he's up and around, but he won't be much good for a while. I suppose he sent for troops for an hour. No, he's sort of a jughead. He wants to do some nosing around before he... Come in. Whatever you're selling, we don't want any. I didn't come to see you, mister. I came to see the ramrod of the outfit. Howdy, Mr. Gorman. Blackie, close the door. What did you want to see me about? I understand you're hiring some more guns for this Navajo ruckus. Mine's for rent. What makes you think you'd fit into this spread? Oh, I don't mind who I work for, as long as the pay's right. Had any experience? Not exactly Billy the Kid, but I've busted a few caps in my time. I think I'd stack up to anything I've seen in your corral so far. Well, I could use a couple of good men if they're, uh... You won't need any more men if the troops come in, boss. Maybe you're right, Mac. See me in a couple of days if you're still around. Thanks for cooking me out of a job, mister. Don't mention it. What's going on around here? Don't you know who that is? Sure, his name's Rusty Stevens. 
He's a waddy that... Rusty eyeballs, that's the marshal I wrote you about. And who's the other hombre? I don't know, but this one's Larry West, and he's no counterfeit. You can write it in your book. If he's playing possum, he's onto something. Blackie. Suppose Missouri's too drunk to do the job? No, he's all right. Us Dalton's always work better with a couple of drinks. I'll tell him. Keep enough men handy to claim self-defense. Right. Shall I speak to the sheriff? No, I'll do that myself. 15-2, 15-4, and three or nine. Hmm. Bring me nicely home to deal, huh? <laughs> well, Judge, you heard that old saying. Lucky at cards, unlucky at everything else. Yeah. <laughs> My age. Man's just lucky to be alive. <laughs> Ever do anything about that summons for Cap Carter for trespassing? Yeah, he's always out prospecting someplace. I guess I've been out there a half a dozen times. Why not try again this afternoon? One of the boys told me he was back at the ranch resting up. All right, I'll ride out after a bit. Better do it now. I hate to miss this chance. How long are you going to let him use you like this, Jeb? That's pretty plain talk, Judge. Yeah, I know. I've known you a long time. I knew your dad before you. You've always been like a son to me. I hate to have you get mixed up with a man like Gorman. Oh, I, I don't know anything against the man. I, anyway, it's my, it's my job to serve papers like that. I signed it two years ago. How many times have you been out to serve it? Oh, four or five. And every time there's been a killing, it could have been prevented if you'd been in town. But that's no proof of anything. No court proof, no. Someday you'll open your eyes, Jeb. Hope it don't make you sorry that you're one of those votes that Gorman controls. So long, son. Someone stop me. Look, I need another drink. If that Ranahan don't show up pretty soon, I'm gonna... I mean, Stevens, and you know it. Fed up with you trailing me around the country, hounding me out of every job I get. You must have had a couple too many, mister. I don't think I've ever seen you before. No? Maybe you forget that night in Pecos when you run me out of town. Swore you'd kill me the next time you seen me. Is this a one-man show, or are your friends backing you up? I don't need no one to back me up when the odds are even. Well, it's your party, mister. I reckon you better start the fiddling. I hope you like the music.
else want to dance? All right, killer, drop the gun. You heard me, drop it. One of you pick it up and hand it here. Take care of Missouri while I heard this fellow over to the sheriff. You saw it. You know it was self-defense. Yeah. Well, let's see you prove it. For your information, he was my brother. Come on, let's get going. What's all the shooting for? What's going on, Larry? Get Rusty? out of the way, we're busy. I know my rights. I want to know what's happened. Go on home. You can read about it in the newspaper. I... Come on. Rusty's been arrested. What for? He's gone and killed Missouri Gans and shot up some other two-bit cowpoke. How did it happen? I don't know. Blackie said we could read about it in the paper. What paper? The only paper there is, our paper. Hey, where are you going with that thing? Didn't you hear what I said? Rusty's been arrested. Well, what if he has? He must have shot in self-defense. They'll turn him loose after a hearing. With them land and water hellions waiting to swear his life away? I tell you, he ain't got any more chance than old Chief Iroquois. But we got to do something, Polly. I tell you, we got to do something. We, yeah. But there ain't nothing that can be did. Wait up for me, Uncle Amos. I won't be back till late. Hey, where are you going? Break it up, break it up, will you, folks? This isn't any circus parade. Now go on about your business, will you? Go on. What's this all about, Blackie? Howdy, Sheriff. I took the liberty of bringing in a prisoner for you. What's he done? Oh, nothing much. Just killed Missouri Gans and shot up Buck Rawlins while you was gone. Any witnesses? Yeah, me and some more of the boys. More water company men? Yeah. Why? Nothing. Nothing special. How'd it happen? Well, it seems this dude and Gans got in some sort of a ruckus down Pecos way. So the next time they met, he'd get them. Today they met face to face. Stevens saw him first, drawed and shot him. Just like shooting trout in a rain barrel. Rawlins tried to stop him and got shot in the arm. I took his gun away and brought him in. I should have killed him. Did anyone bother to swear out a warrant? I'll go see Judge Price right away. Oh, by the way, did you serve that paper on Carter? No. No, he hasn't been home in weeks. Well, somebody's been lying. J.J.'s not going to like this. Well, mister? How much of Blackie's story would you say was true? All of it with the exception of a few minor details, such as I've never been to Pecos. I never saw Gans before in my life. He jumped me when I was going into the hotel, had his gang around him in case he missed. Outside of that, everything that fella said is the truth. Can you prove that? With his witnesses? Of course not. Hey, Sheriff. Yeah? You seem like a square sort of an hombre. Is that so? Yeah. You know, there's times when I'm not so sure of that myself. Would it help my case any if you knew I was sent down here from the marshal's office in Santa Fe to investigate this Navajo ruckus? Well, you doggone tootin'. Let's see your uh, credentials. Uh, well, I, uh, I sent them back to Santa Fe for reasons of my own. Well, is there anyone here that can identify you? Yeah. Old Amos Bowling, I've known him all my life. No soap, fella. I wouldn't believe that old goat on a stack of barber chairs. How about Power Medford? No dice. She'd lie to save the old man. You'll have to think of something better than that. Say, there's a fellow across the street that can identify me. Hey, Marshal. 
Come over here, will you? Hi, Joe. Hi. You know this man? Sure, his name's Rusty Stevens. Leastways, he says it is. You know whether he's a U.S. Marshal? <laughs> as far as I know, there's only one Marshal in Rincon, and I'm him. Uh, no, Joe, the sheriff wants to know who I really am. Uh, I don't am. care who wants to know. I'm Marshal around here, and that's the way she stays. Uh, but, Joe, what I said the other day is I all I ain't going to stand here arguing with you. I might say something I'll be sorry for later. But, Joe! <laughs> Call him back, Sheriff. Believe me, there's been a misunderstanding. Uh... But... The... Your friend, the Marshal, is about to be killed. Will you let him die for trying to save your people? My white brother from Santa Fe? Yes. He's in jail, accused of murder. He is a white man. He will get a fair trial. He'll be hanged by the lies of the company, just as you'd have been. If they hang him, we shall raid Rincon if it costs us all our lives. What good will that do after he's dead? He needs you now, tonight. Not all of you, only a few. If he dies, it will be because he believed what you told him. A caballo, todos los que me quitaron del del la cárcel, ándale pronto. Go ahead and tell him. Some men will be along in a minute to get you out. I came ahead so you'd be prepared. You took a chance like that for me? Why not? If they hanged you, what'll become of our family's knuckleheads? Wait a minute. You happen to know where Blackie Mullen holds out? Well, he's probably got a room at the hotel. Well, find out. I'll meet you at the print shop. Leave the back door unlocked. I'll be waiting for you. I got you covered. Oh, don't get so flustered. It's only me pulling down the blinds. Well, then there's somebody else here. They just shot off the light. I blew it out. Rusty's coming here. I just unlocked the back door for him. Well, how's he going to get out of jail? I'm already out. He must... Rusty. 
Well, why the heck doesn't someone let me in on these things? It's going to be up to your neck in it in a minute. Did you find out about Blackie? Room 7, ground floor rear. I searched the register. And uh, while I was there, I went to my room and got Dad's gun for you. Thanks. If it wasn't for you... If it wasn't for her, maybe I'd be let in on what's up. What kind of a judge you got here? Why, the squarest shooter on either side of the creek, except you and me, maybe. All right, get him to his office. Tell him to pull down the blinds, unlock the back door, and wait for me. Yeah, well, how long will you be? As long as it takes to catch a fish. What's he going fishing for at a time like this? I haven't got a chance, mister. I'm holding all the cards this time. What's the idea? We're gonna have a few words. That is, you're gonna talk and I'm gonna listen. How'd you get out of jail? What difference does it make? I'm out and no one knows it. Who paid Mac to kill Medford? Why does the land company want the Indian range? They got plenty of range of their own. Why don't you put that thing away? You ain't gonna shoot nobody. No, not unless you make a break for it. But you're gonna talk, Blackie. Or I'm gonna take you up the road a piece and turn you over to some Navajo friends of mine. Yeah, you wouldn't do that. Wouldn't I? I'll take you if I have to pistol whip you all the way. What do you want to know? Now, who paid Mac? It was a land company. This Mac. Real name Dalton, isn't it? Yeah. Guthrie. Your brother? Yeah. Those Indian raiders. Company men? Mm -hmm. Made up to look like Navajos. What are you asking for? You seem to know all the answers. What does the land company want with the Indian reservation? They got thousands of head of cattle and no summer grazing. Water holes all dried up. That's all I need to know. And you can't prove none of it. Come on, get up. Never mind your boots. You won't be tempted to run without them. Now hold it. All right, douse it. Mind if I wear my hat? No, oh, go ahead. I heard. Looks like there's been a fight here. 
no one in sight. There's no telling which way they went. Yeah, but who'd jump Blackie? That Marsh was in the Hooskow. Yeah, maybe. You better go see. I'll go wake up Gorman. Right. All right, tell the judge what you told me. I can't, Stevens. I'll bleed to death. Not if you start talking. It won't take but a couple of minutes. All right, start asking your questions. Who shot John Medford? It was Mac, like I told you. You mean it was your brother Guthrie Dalton, like you told me? All right, it was Guthrie. Who paid him? See, it must have been Stevens. Who else? He's not in jail. The whole side of it's been yanked out. Just like when they broke that Indian chief out. Some Navajos, we may be in for plenty of trouble. Round up all the men and bring them back here. Yeah. And the Raiders were Gorman's own men, dressed like Navajos. Now can I have a doctor? Just one more question. That lease that Gorman has. It's a forgery, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Now will you send for the doc? Right after you sign this. I got a right eye left-handed. Well, make your mark. Wheel witnesses. Amos, I'll go for the doc. He'll go get the sheriff and be sure that he gets here. As long as I got this little old persuader, he'll get here. There'll be a search warrant and felony charges as soon as I fill in the names. Good. I want to keep this legal. Judge, I feel faint. Will you give me some water? Half a second. Give them something they won't forget. Get out front. And when the boys show up, scatter them along the street where they'll do the most good. Thanks, Judge. Gunpowder. Who is it, Blackie? It's the judge. Light the lamp. Shot through the heart. And Blackie's gone. This is Blackie's work for sure. been playing possum to get that confession he signed. Now we're stuck without it. Here's some legal looking papers in his pocket. Here's the confession, Sheriff, and the warrants. He told me something would happen someday to make me open my eyes, but I never ever figured it would be him. <laughs> he used to call me son. Well, now that it's too late, I'm going to go serve these things, and I kind of hope they put up a fight. Looks like you'll get your wish, Sheriff. Take a peek out this window. Looks 
Blackie. Now, wait a minute. Let's don't go off half-cocked. But it was Blackie that... It's the Dolphin Gang, and Blackie's only one of them. They take their orders from Gorman. Take it easy. This isn't a one-man fight. But there's no use of both of us getting killed. There's no use of anyone getting killed if we don't get the whole gang. The Daltons? <laughs> That'd take a small army. I got a small army, Sheriff. They're waiting on the edge of town and raring to go. The best thing to do is to act like we don't suspect anything till we're right on them. It's nearly daylight. I doubt if somebody can move tonight. You don't know that ringtail marshal? Like Max said, he ain't no counterfeit. Pour me a drink, will you, Emmett? Sure. Chief, hold your men here till you hear gunfire, then come in fast. Any questions? No questions. Let's go. Shooting. That should take care of our friend from Santa Fe. Hold it, man. I thought you thought your men were taking care of us. It's the Navajos taking care of your men. You're under arrest, all of you. Took a target to argue the point.
Grab it! You bluff easy, don't you? It was empty. There was a letter come for you yesterday from your boss. I forgot to give it to you. He refused to accept your resignation. Said for you to finish up this job here and report back to Santa Fe. How do you know? Wasn't it sealed? Well, of course it was sealed. I unsealed it with my jackknife. Polly, have you ever spent a honeymoon in Santa Fe? I never spent a honeymoon anywhere. Well, you're going to. If I have to have my Navajo friend... Navajo to... tribe named first by Pooh's little chief knucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Howdy, folks. I'm kind of glad you're all here, because I got a little confession to make to the sheriff here. I've been thinking it over, and I thought I ought to let you in on a little secret. Well, what's that? This fellow really is the marshal from Santa Fe. No. It's a fact. What did I tell you, Larry? I know that fellow couldn't keep a secret. Mm -hmm.